That's a very nice shell. <sighs> yes, but it's also <sighs> too small for me. It used to fit just right, but I've grown. Oh, dear. Hmm. We hermit crabs always grow out of our homes. <sighs> oh, I really need to find a new one. I'm sure we can help. Why don't we see if we can find a new home for you on your beach? Oh, yes. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling! Let's all squiggle a beach together. We'll need that round line again to squiggle the sun. Ready? Curve round and round and back to the start again. There! Now a straight line for the beach. And a wavy one for the sea. Why don't you colour your sun in yellow? And squiggle some lovely blue sky too. Ooh, nice beach. But I can't see anything I'd like to live in. There must be something. Oh, hello little seal. I like your armbands. Me too. Oh, thanks. But I don't need them anymore. I've passed all my swimming tests. So, I can swim without them now. Congratulations. Yes. Hey, Hammer, those armbands have an inside, just like your shell. Well, if you'd like one, go ahead. I'm off for a swim. Bye. Why don't you try one on, Herman? Ooh. I don't want everyone to see me getting changed. Have you got your shell off yet, Herman? <laughs> that looks great! Really? It's such a comfortable fit too. Much more roomy than my old shell. You just need to shift it a little bit. Uh, careful, Herman. Your claws are quite sharp. Ah! Uh, everyone can see my pants. <laughs> Come on. Maybe we can find something else for you to live in. Yes, but I still need somewhere new to live. And you can't live in sand, can you? Uh, maybe you can. If you live in a sand castle. A sand castle? Yes, and we can squiggle one for you. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. Let's all squiggle a sand castle together. We can start with the top. We'll need our round line again. Ready? Curve round and round and back to the start. Great! Now we need straight lines for the sides. One, two. And a curved line at the bottom. A big curve for our door. And a little pole on top for our flag. That's a triangle. There, it's done. Why don't you colour your sand castle in? I'm going to make mine yellow. What colour are you going to make yours? There we are. One lovely sand castle. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. <laughs> oh, yes. This is wonderful. Oh, holiday, here I come. Where are you going? To the seaside. I've never been before. Well, come on, then. Let's go! Yay! I'm 
I'm on holiday at the seaside. Oh, the sand's so sandy. <laughs> Not like snow at all. Oh, and the sun's so sunny. Don't forget your sun cream. Oh, yes. <sighs> right. So, um... What exactly are you supposed to do on holiday at the seaside? Hmm... I can answer that. I'm a crab and I live here, so I know all about the seaside. Thanks, Mr Crab. I recommend that you play beach ball, build a sandcastle and go for a paddle in the sea. Wow! That's loads of things! Oh, come on, Squiglet. Play beach ball with me. I'd love to, Steve. But the sun's very hot. Oh. You should be careful. You're made of snow, and snow starts to melt in the sun. Oh, phew. It is a bit hot. Oh, I don't want to melt, but I don't want to go home either. Oh, how can I play in the sun and stay cool? I know. We could squiggle you a sun hat. That'll shade you and keep you cool. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling! Let's start with the top of the hat. We can use our curved line again. Up, curve over and down the other side. Now we need another curved line at the bottom of the hat to make a shady brim. One sun hat. I'm going to colour mine yellow. What colour are you going to make yours? Our sun hat is ready to wear. Oh, thanks everyone. I feel cooler already. But what were the other two things we were going to do? Build a sandcastle. And go for a paddle in the sea. Oh yes, now I remember. I'm going to build a sand penguin instead of a sand castle. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're having fun. Phew, it's hot work. Oh, but now it's finished. One sand penguin. It looks great. Yes, but I need to cool down again. <laughs> Ready Ooh, for duty. duty. Have you found me treasure yet? No, no Captain. Captain. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Perhaps you left it on that desert island. Of course I did. Oh, thank you, Squiglet. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's set sail, shipmates. <laughs> now that's what I call wind. <laughs> Well, here we are on the desert island. Dig, dig, dig. Oi, Cackles, you clever bird. <laughs> we need to dig, cos me treasure's buried. Where did you bury it, Longbeard? Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> I suppose you'll just have to keep digging till you find it. <laughs> Good idea. Digging's what moles do best. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Have you found anything? Oh, phew, no. Arp, hoo, hoo, hoo. We might find it quicker if Wiggle Trunk helped me dig. But my feet are the wrong shape for digging. What if we squiggle Wiggle Trunk something to dig with? Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. Let's all squiggle a spade. We can start with a square. We'll use our straight lines. Ready, across, down, across, and up. That's the digging part. Our spade needs a handle. Two long straight lines going up. One, two, and some more straight lines across the top. Across, down, 
across and up. There's our spade. I'm going to make mine red. What colour are you going to make yours? Our spade is ready. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Aye. Now get digging, Wiggle Trunk. Aye, aye, come. Found anything oh. yet? <laughs> no. no! Oh, Squiglet. Oh, what if I never finds it? <laughs> oh. Holiday, here I come. Where are you going? To the seaside. I've never been before. Well, come on then. Let's go! Yay! I'm on holiday at the seaside. Oh, the sand's so sandy. <laughs> Not like snow at all. Oh, and the sun's so sunny. Don't forget your sun cream. Oh, yes. Oh, it's warmer than I expected. Oh, it's no good. Oh, I feel hotter than ever. Oh. And you're really starting to melt. We need to get you out of here fast. Oh, but I love it at the seaside. Oh, if only there was a colder seaside to play at. <gasps> Steve, that's given me an idea. Come on. Oh, it's a bit like the seaside. Yes. But there's an iceberg, and there's snow and sea instead of sand and sea. Oh, and there's even a real live penguin. Hello, Mr. Penguin. Oh, it's perfect. And best of all, it's lovely and cold, so you won't melt. In fact, it's really cold. Ooh. Yes. It's almost freezing, <laughs> just the way I like it. The perfect holiday for a snowman. <laughs> Ready for duty. Have you found me treasure yet? No, no Captain. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Perhaps you left it on that desert island. Of course I did. Oh, thank you, Squiglet. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's set sail, shipmates. <laughs> Now that's what I call wind. Well, here we are on the desert island. Dig, dig, dig. I cackles, you clever bird. <laughs> we need to dig, cause my treasure's buried. Where did you bury it, Longbeard? Oh. I can't remember. <laughs> I suppose you'll just have to keep digging till you find it. <laughs> Good idea. Digging. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. <laughs> While Arthur's munching, I'm going to squiggle the rest of Arthur's garden. Join in if you like. No wonder you like it here, Arthur. Look at all those lettuces. Oh, this one's the biggest I've ever seen. I'm saving it for dessert. <sighs> oh, are you OK, Dolores? Yes, I'm just a little tired, that's all, from practising my dancing at home. Oh, I see. Where do you live, Dolores? By the Swim Po Po River. The Swim Po Po River? I'd like to see that. Wouldn't you? Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. Let's all squiggle the river. We can use our curvy line again. Are you ready? Up and down. Up and down. 
That's one side of the river. Let's do the other side. There, that's our river. Why don't you colour yours in blue? While I scribble some trees and bushes. Ah, the Swim Purple River. Home sweet home. It's a big football match in my garden today, but none of my friends want me to play. I get all my long legs in a mudder when I kick the ball, you see. Oh, I'm sure you could be good at football. Really? Let's see where you live and meet your friends. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling! Let's all squiggle where Salma lives, in a web. We'll need some more straight lines for that. Ready? Down. 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 There. We can use some curved lines to join the straight lines together. Up, curve over and down. Keep going. Just a few more curved lines here. Up, curve over and down. There's our web. Now let's squiggle the rest of Salma's garden. Oh, it's my beautiful garden. But where are your friends, Salma? Mm, they'll be getting ready for the football match. Are you sure they won't ask you to play? No, all I can do is spin webs. But that's amazing. Nice to meet you, Squigglet. But I can't hang a boot. I've got a job to do. A job? Oh, yes. It takes me all day. I'm a park keeper, you see. I've got to keep the whole park tidy. <laughs> I'd like to see Spike's Park. Wouldn't you? Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling! Let's all squiggle some grass. We can use that zigzag line again. Ready? Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Just keep going right across your page. yours doing? What about a bush? We'll use a curvy line for that all the way round. I'm going to squiggle some more bushes, trees and a path. Join in if you like. There, finished. Lovely park, Spike. And very tidy. You must be a really good park keeper. Thanks, Squigglet. Oh, but it won't be tidy for long. Because as soon as the wind blows... Oh! It gets all messy again! Oh, this will need a lot of tidying. It must be a lot of fun being a spaceman whooshing around in space. Yes, the whooshing is fun. But it'd be more fun if I had someone to whoosh with. Oh, haven't you got any friends in space? No, I live on a planet all by myself. It gets a bit lonely, really. Oh, poor Sonny. Why don't we come and see your planet? Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling! Let's all squiggle Sonny's planet. We'll need a curved line for this. Ready? Up, curve round and down. That's the surface of our planet. What about some craters? They're big dips like holes. We can use our round line again. Oh, and Sunny needs a spaceship. Draw a rectangle shape first. 
across, down, across, up. Two lines on the top to make a triangle shape. And two fins. One, two. We can use our round shape line again to make two little windows. Looks like a lovely spaceship. Let's colour it in. There, all finished. Let's have a look around, Sonny. Why don't you come too? OK, but there's not that much here. <laughs> Lots of space dust. <laughs> But apart from that, there's just curly-whirly flowers and my spaceship. But that's it. Nothing else. Oh, no one to be friends with. Hmm. No one here. And no one here either. Nope. I'm all on my own. Why don't you get in your spaceship and whoosh to another planet. Maybe you could find a friend there. <laughs> I've tried that, but I couldn't find anyone on any of the other planets either. Let's try again. What's your favourite colour, Sonny? Uh, green. Then let's find a green planet and look for a new friend. Can you see a green planet? There's one! Come on, Sonny, into your spaceship. Here we are, Sonny. A green planet. Green is my favourite colour, but I can't see anyone to play with here. We just need to look harder. I wish there were more things to take photos of round here. We could squiggle you somewhere if you like. Somewhere in the jungle. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. Let's all squiggle a jungle tree trunk. We need some more straight lines. Ready? Go up, up, up. And another one next to it. Up. Up, up, with some curved lines up the middle. There! That's my tree trunk. We need some big jungle leaves. We'll do two curved lines. One, two, with a straight line up the middle. Two curved lines. One, with a straight line up the middle. We'll need lots of leaves for our jungle trees. Keep on going. Why don't you colour your jungle trees in? I'm going to squiggle lots more trees to make a whole jungle. You can join in if you like. Ah, oh, there must be something to take a photo of around here. Now, where are my cows? I haven't seen them, but would you like us to squiggle your ranch? That's where you keep them, isn't it? Oh, that'll be mighty good of you. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. There's a big arch gate at a ranch. We'll need another curved line to squiggle that. Ready? First, we're going to go up, curve over the top, and down the other side. Let's draw another one of those curves underneath it to make our arch. There, that's my arch. We need a fence too. 
We'll use some straight lines for that. Start at the side of the gate. One, two. Let's do the same on the other side. We need some poles along the fence. Up, across, down and across. Another one here. And some the other side. Let's colour it in. What colour are you going to make yours? The ranch is ready. Aw, oh, thanks everyone. <laughs> A teapot. Where did that come from? Oh dear, I haven't got time to explain. I'm late for flower fairy school. Don't worry. We can squiggle flower fairy school for you. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling! What do you think flower fairy school would look like? Let's use our wavy line again to squiggle a flower. Ready? Up. the top of our flower. Now two curved lines at each side. One, two. A straight line for the stalk and two leaves. One, two. That's a lovely flower. You can colour yours in while I squiggle the rest of the fairy school. I'll do some more flowers and some trees. everyone. It's magic class today. Violet, why don't you show us some flower fairy magic? Come on, magic. Don't be lazy. Let us have a gorgeous daisy. <coughs> Yay! <coughs> wow, that really is a loud noise. Yes, but it's so loud that I've upset all the other animals where I live in Africa. Oh dear, why don't we see where Ellie lives and then maybe we can help her. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling! It's very hot in Africa, so let's all squiggle a big sun together. We'll need a round line. Ready? We're going to curve all the way round to make a circle. There! That's my sun. Use some straight lines to make the rays of the sun, like this. Why don't you colour your sun in, while I squiggle the rest of Ellie's home? There, all finished. Oh, it's lovely to be back. <laughs> You haven't seen a cornfield, have you? I should be scaring birds off the farmer's corn. No, but we could squiggle you a cornfield if you like. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. Let's all squiggle an ear of corn. We'll need a straight line to make the ground. Ready? Across, across. We need another straight line to make the stem of the corn. Going up this time. Let's use a bumpy line for the ear of corn. Bumpy line all the way up. And bumpy line all the way down the other side. Why don't you colour your corn in yellow while I squiggle the rest of the cornfield? <laughs> Finished. Oh, this is fantastic. I can't wait to start scaring the birds away. Oh, look, we've got company. A 
princess. Hmm, a princess. Now that reminds me of something. Oh, my ball! <gasps> Don't worry, princess. I'll get it. Ribbit. Oh, that was my favourite ball. How annoying. Oh, oh, princess, wait. Oh, dear, she's gone. Here's your ball, Princess. Princess? I don't think she heard you, Freddy. She was too upset. Oh, she must have gone back to the palace. It's funny, but seeing that princess reminded me of something. Well, something about what I was before I was turned into a frog. Well, perhaps she can give you a clue. Why don't you take her ball back and ask her? Ribbit. I'd love to. But the palace is miles away and I don't know how to get there. No problem. We can squiggle the palace bus. That'll get you there in no time. Oh! Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. Let's all squiggle a bus. We can start with the wheels. We'll need our round line for those. Squiggle one with me. Ready? Round and round and back to the start again to make a circle. Now we need another one at the back. Let's put two more little circles inside our wheels. Now for the bus. A bus is a rectangular shape. We'll need some straight lines for that. Across. Red. What colour are you going to make yours? There! One royal bus! Ribbit! Oh, fantastic! Thanks, everyone! I'll be at the palace in no time! Ribbit. Time to meet that princess, Ribbit. Good luck, Freddy. Sorry, Mr. Frog, but I can't let you in unless you're wearing a costume. A costume? That's right. Oh, dear. Hello there. Come on through. Thanks. Hey, he let them in all right, Ribbit. But how am I going to give the princess her ball back if he won't let me in? Grog. <laughs> What kind of costume do you think I need, Ribbit? I'm not sure, Freddy. Let's see if we can get a clue from the squiggle pad. See if you can spot something for Freddy to wear. <laughs> wow! It's the fancy dress box. I wonder what the children will put on. Matthew's putting on a space suit. Claire's dressing as a cowgirl. And Thomas is dressing as a prince. What a lovely crown. A perfect crown for a prince. Did you spot a costume for Freddy? I rather like that prince costume myself. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Perfect. You can go as a prince. Ribbit. Except I don't have a crown. No problem. We can squiggle you one. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. Let's all squiggle a crown. Ready? We can 
will start with a straight line to make the bottom. We need two more straight lines going up for the sides. One, two. And crowns have pointy tops. We can use a zigzag line for that all the way across. That's our crown. Let's decorate it with a big jewel, one in the middle. We can use our round line again to make a circle. And let's add some more jewels on the top. My crown's gold, so I'm going to colour it in yellow. And my jewels are red like rubies. What colour are you going to make yours? There, one lovely crown. Ribbit, ribbit. Ah, oh, thanks everyone. Let's see if I can get into the palace now. Ribbit, ribbit. Oh, nice costume, Mr. Frog. Come on in. Great, thanks. Ribbit. Come on, I want to see what happens. <laughs> see the princess anywhere. Uh, there she is. Oh, yes. Excuse me a moment. Ribbit. Ribbit. Hello, princess. I think you may have dropped this. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Hey, that's magic. It certainly is. Of course. That's what I was before I had that spell put on me. I'm not Freddy the Frog at all. I'm Prince Freddy. Your kiss must have broken the spell, Princess. Yes, that was lucky. Very lucky. And now that I'm a prince again, may I have this dance? Of course. But I hope you remember a bit about being a frog. We're doing the hoppy dance next. Why don't we all do the hoppy dance? Join in with our song! Little green frog Going for a hop From river bank to lily pad Looking out for flies With his froggy eyes Flicking out his tongue Yum yum Come on say it Ribbit ribbit Come on say it Croak 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 You talk to froggy folk Little green frog Going for a swim Leaps from a lily pad Dives right in Splash, splish Down amongst the fish Kicks out his legs Swish, swish Come on, say it Ribbit, ribbit Come on, say it Croak, croak, croak Come on, say it Ribbit, ribbit you talk to froggy folk. <laughs> it's fun being a frog. Thanks for all your squiggles. It's time to go now, but come back to get squiggling soon. Keep on squiggling. Bye. <laughs> Squiglet? Um, no, I'm afraid not. Have you? Oh, it's just that I'm used to being with lots of other bees. That's okay. We can squiggle your beehive. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. Let's all squiggle a beehive. We'll need our straight lines again. Let's start with one across the top for the roof, all the way across. Now, two more straight lines for the sides. One, two. Good. 
we need one more straight line for the bottom. That's a good shape for a beehive. We need some more straight lines going across. And some little square feet. I'm going to colour my beehive purple. What colour are you going to make yours? That's fantastic. Thanks, everyone. Mm. Hello, hello, Bob. Oh, hello. Squiglet, these are my friends, Betty and Barbara. Nice to meet you, Betty and Barbara. Hello, Squiglet. We're trying to find some nectar. We need it to make honey. Yes, so the Queen Bee will know what good bees we are. Sometimes Maybe. I wish I could just live somewhere warm. <gasps> Somewhere warm? With no ice and snow? Yes. Well, that's easy. Just come with me. <laughs> How about here? Hot enough for you? Oh, it's lovely. And so warm. This is Africa. It's very hot here. Phew! There is just one thing. What? Well, there's no one to play with. I think we can help with that. Where do you think animal friends meet up in really hot places? Somewhere they could get a drink. A pond? Yes. Here they call it a watering hole. Have you got your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks ready? Let's get squiggling. We'll need our curved line again. Ready? Curve up. Visitors to our watering hole. Oh, hello. I'm Patricia the Penguin, and this is Squigglet. 